this is Selena Kraus for LDRS Creative and welcome to another card video. In today's video I'm featuring the new 1-5 day uh, collection. So let's take a closer look. We have two sets of stickers, puffy stickers, small and large. We have ephemera pack. We have also pattern paper. We have 6x6 six six, uh, slimline which is 4x9 and also we have 12x12. 12 12. Let's take a look at the patterns. So the 6x6 six six patterns, it's smaller, um, they're sized down for 6x6 six six, where if you look at the 12x12 um, 12 12, they are larger and they're perfect for scrapbooking. Also we had some foiled patterns there and also that I, um, we have the ephemera pack and we have an enamel dots that I don't have right here on the screen at the moment. So what we're going to do today, we're going to make a non-stamping card. So we're going to use the product from this line and we're going to make uh, a card without stamping or die cutting. So I'm starting with a two piece of paper and I'm trimming it down asymmetrically to create an uh, interesting uh, border on my card. You can also use dies uh, for this but I just decided to use my paper trimmer. So I just pulled a few images, a few um, die cuts from the ephemera pack, the little bunny and some flowers, and the flower pattern from the 6x6 six six, uh, pattern pack. So I'm just trying to decide how I didn't want to put an entire uh, A2 piece of uh, pattern paper. I'm kind of paper hoarder when it comes to paper pat, uh, pattern paper. So I just decided to put on the bottom and to cover with that enough to cover the part that we can see. So I'm adding that to the bottom on another A2 piece of white cardstock. And then I will add uh, the trim piece on top. Before I add that one, I decided to make it a little bit more sturdier. So I'm cutting down another piece of white cardstock to adhere in the back. So it's slightly smaller than the one on top. I'm going to remove those uh, scraps and put them in the trash. So I'm using some uh, tape runner and I'm stacking those together. Okay, now I decided to add a little bit more dimension so I'll be using some foam tape I'll cover that entire back so it's nice and sturdy and it stays flat even when it goes through the mail in case it gets squished. In the mail it will stay nice and flat without bending over. Okay. So I'm using my um, scoring tool here just for a straight edge to make sure that that's adhered nice and straight. I'm removing the back of that uh, foam tape and adding it on top. Okay, now it's time to decorate our panel. I'm using again foam, um, double foam, um, I doubled that up, the foam tape, and add it on the bottom of the bunny where the bunny goes on to pattern paper and then on the top part I'll just add single layer of that foam tape. I'm adding also some liquid adhesive so it doesn't stick right away but it gives me a little bit more time to wiggle that in case I need to reposition it. So I'll just touch it on the bottom, make sure that it's where I want it to be and then I will stick it down. Okay, next we have a couple flowers. I picked out the flowers. They have uh, blue edges. So it kind of matches the background paper because the background of the, that paper is blue. So I'm adding those. And now we, um, we need some sentiment. I decided to use the small puffy stickers. They're different colors, so I decided to uh, spell hello. So I'm starting with the H and then I'm using uh, my A blade tool here and tweezers to adhere the rest of the letters. 
when you adhere those, um, make sure that they're nice and straight. Just uh, use your tweezers position and then when you're sure then you can press a little bit harder. Apply more pressure to make sure that's nice and um, adhered nicely down. Okay, we're adding the second L here. And we have the O left. Okay, now we're done and what is left to do is just add that entire panel to a top folding white note card. I prefer top folding uh, note cards, but you can use any note card. Either you can do top or, or side folding, it's your choice. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope that um, this video inspires you to pull out your designer papers, your pattern papers and create. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye!